Uh, hello, students. I am Chalma Reddy, Mathematics. Today we are going to discuss integration as limit of a sum related problems in definite integration. First, see that some standard results are the first one. Limit n tends to infinite 1 by n sigma r is equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of r by n. So this is we can write in integration form 0 to 1 f of x dx. This is limit n tends to infinite 1 by n sigma r is equal to 1 to n f of r by n. Here observe that what is the difference between both. First one limit is r is equal to 0 to n minus. Second one limit is r is equal to 1 to n. Overall there are r values n. Now this is we can write in short form integration 0 to 1 f of x dx. Now, third one, limit n tends to infinite 1 by n sigma r is equal to 0 to a into n minus 1 f of r by n. In this case, we will take the limit 0 to a f of x dx. Students observe difference between these two. Now, fourth one, limit n tends to infinite 1 by n sigma r is equal to 1 to a n f of r by n that is equal to integration 0 to a f of x dx. So observe that relation between these two. These are the four standard results. Students see the first question. That means in level one, level one, question number 72. How to do this? Limit n tends to infinite sigma r is equal to 1 to n. But we need 1 by n in front of sigma. But there is no 1 by n. So that's why inside the root to take n square common, that will come outside n into under root 4 minus r square by n square. That is r by n whole square. So finally, this is limit n tends to infinite 1 by n sigma r is equal to 1 to n 1 by under root 4 minus r by n whole square this is second result second formula related problem students how to write this integration 0 to 1 1 by under root 4 means i am writing 2 square minus x square dx. This is in the form of integration 1 by under root a square minus x square dx. What is the formula students? That is sine inverse of x by a. a means 2. And what is the limit? 0 to 1. Substitute upper limit, you will get sine inverse of 1 by 2. Lower limit, 
sin inverse of 0 what is sin inverse of 1 by 2 30 degrees that is pi by 6 minus sin inverse of 0 0 so finally answer is pi by 6 so third option is correct